In my last video, I tried explaining why India cannot have a national language. Taking that topic forward, in today's video, I'm going to explain why Hindi couldn't become India's national language. Hello everyone, this is Pranav and you're watching Prav Vyab now. In my last video, I tried explaining why India couldn't have a national language because multilingual nations have a hard time finding a common language. I got responses from my viewers that I need to explain it further and so I will try my best to take that topic forward and explain why Hindi couldn't become India's national language. A multilingual country is either a result of a union or of an empire. When it comes to an empire, usually linguistically dominant community takes over the nation and their language becomes dominant all over the country and that language later emerges to be the national language. Like it happened in case of English in Britain where Irish, Scottish and Welsh became subordinate to English. Similar thing happened with Mandarin in China and Russian in Russia. But when it comes to India, although we had an empire, we are not a result of an empire. We are a union. And in India, the languages of the people and languages of the elite has always been different. In ancient times, the language Sanskrit was the language of the elite while commoners spoke in different dialects of Prakrit. In the medieval times, Persian became the language of the elite and the regional languages were spoken by the respective regions. You must have heard that saying, Hat kangan ko arsi kya, padhe likhe ko farsi kya. It is because the administrative language of medieval times and the language of the elite was Farsi, which is Persian. During the old times, the local people didn't have to learn other languages because they mostly lived in their locality. It was only the educated elite, the administrators and the merchant and traders had to roam around in different parts of the country and therefore they had to learn different languages. This is why there was a vast difference between the language spoken by the people, that by the common people, and languages spoken by the educated elites, the administrators, and the trader and merchants. Slowly, during the Mughal period, Urdu started emerging as the language of the Mughal court, and Persian started fading, but just then, the Marathas took over, followed by British rule. When India became a British colony, the British made English the official language of their Indian Empire while allowing supplementary regional language at provincial level. That is where provinces like Bombay Presidency had Marathi, Gujarati, Kannada and Sindhi as, as their co-official languages along with English, while regions like Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir and some other places continue to have Urdu as their supplementary official language. In South India, languages like Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam and Kannada continue to be co-official along with English. This made English the sole language which bridged the North and with the South. When India attained its independence, English was thought to be the language of the of their colonial masters and that is why they decided that they should have Hindi as the sole national language and, but that was met with a backlash and this is why we have Hindi and English co-official language of the union while the constitution addresses all 22 official languages of India which includes Hindi, Marathi, Sanskrit, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Konkani, Assamese and so on. The main difference between a national language and an official language is that an official language 
is is the language made for communication and administration while national language symbolizes the identity of a country and being a multilinguistic nation one one language can never define the whole of india and this is why india can never have hindi as its national language that was it for now i hope some of my unanswered questions are clarified in this video if you haven't seen the previous video you can check the link in the description and stay tuned to prav vyab now for more such update on history mythology culture fiction and other topics this is prav signing off tada